Hey friends, if you want to see how I go from this to this and then to this using these drawstring ponytails from Free Trust, stay tuned. So we are starting off freshly co wash hair, nothing super fancy. My hair is about 60% dry from my microfiber towel and a little bit stretched. So now we're going to part our hair and split it in half. I mentioned this in my box braid video and the best thing that you can do to part your hair is use a metal rat tail comb. Like you get a clean and precise part usually more than likely on the first or second try. So we're going to clip one section away. So nothing in this video is sponsored today, but I'm going to be using Oyen Handmaid's Greg Juice Leave-In Tonic. It's one of my favorite leave-ins because it's lightweight, it's no fuss, and it blends really well with most stylers. And for my gel today, I'm going to be using Main Choices Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. I've spoken about this gel in many videos. I mean, it lays the hair down. So we're going to start by going down the part, then we're going to do our edges. And then I'm going to use this double-sided wood brush. I'm going to use the softer side of bristles and smooth it down and gather it into a ponytail. So then I'm going to go in with a really gentle elastic tie. I'm only going to wrap it about two or three times. And the reason being is because once I twist my ends down and make it into a ball, I like to flip the ponytail holder over one last time just to tuck the ends just like that. Look at my hair, y'all. What did I tell you about this gel? Slipped, okay? So now we're going to repeat the steps on the other side, adding our leave-in, adding our gel. Look again. Look at that hair, slicked, my God. So then we're gonna go in with our hard brush on the soft side, smoothing it down, gathering it together, putting it in that ponytail, then twisting those ends down, putting them into a little bun, and that's it. And then we're gonna add a little bit more of that gel, do a few little swoop to swoops and layer lays around the hairline. Nothing too fancy, something super easy and quick. I'm gonna mimic it on the right side. Usually I can never get them the same, but you know, it's not about perfection. We just want something cute enough to get us out the dough. And if you're new around here, one thing about me, I always gotta give a side piece. Look at that snapback. Mm, I know that's right. Now hear me out. I know Cantu is one of the worst brands on the market in terms of ingredients and quality, but their frizz free finisher is one of the best hairsprays to lock in your style and to fight against humidity. So then I'm going to go with my favorite super large Sanex strips just to set and lay down my edges. If you don't have these, no worries. You can always use a scarf. So I let my hair set for about 20 minutes and now we are going to remove our strips. So now we're getting into the fun part that I'm sure you came for. Today we're going to be using Free Tress's Drawstring Ponytail in the style Afropunk in the shade 1B. So it has a comb on both sides parallel to each other and then it also has a drawstring. And what I love is that you can stretch it and really get it to fit your hair. So we're just going to go in and install it, insert our clips, tighten up our string, and then we're going to wrap our string around the ponytail so it is undetectable. Listen, I'm not mad at what I'm seeing. So then we're just going to apply the other puff to the other side. So then of course I got to pull out my favorite afro pick. We got to name her y'all. Tell me in the comments what you think her name should be, right? I'm thinking Nay Nay. But anyway, I'm just going to pick it out just so you guys can see the difference in size. I think it's cute either way, but for those that want a little extra volume, picking it definitely gets it to your desired size. And what I love most about this unit and the units that I've been bringing you guys in my latest videos is that they're affordable, they're easy to install, and they're items that you pass in the beauty supply store and wouldn't look twice at it because it's styled terribly on the packaging. So all things considered, I like the look. You know how we do, we always gotta put on some clothes and put on some earrings and really hook up the look so you can get the full effect. I'm also gonna show you in another style what it looks like. And as always, if you find it helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And God willing, I will see you guys in my next video video. Bye. I rock rough and stuff with my Afro